it's time to roll the dice again. I picked up another eBay lot. Targeting one book in here. I'm not sure. It depends on condition. We're going to take a look and see what's in here next on this video from Bronzeville Comics. Hey there, comic book community. This is Jim from Bronzeville Comics coming to you with another video. And before we get started, like, comment, subscribe, do all that great stuff for the channel. I really appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up. Um, follow us on other socials, Instagram, Bronzeville underscore comics, whatnot, Bronzeville underscore comics. We do sales on whatnot every Monday night at 10 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, if you're not yet used whatnot, in the description of this video is a link. If you sign up through that link, you get $10 off your first purchase, regardless of who you buy something with. Also, in the description is a link to my email and my eBay store. So, I was perusing um, eBay recently, and um, Ryan from Automatic Comics had done a video on lots where he did very well. Now, he got a lot um, from Heritage Auctions of EC sci-fi books from the 50s. Um, so, he spent quite a bit of money, and uh, he did very well. And I've had success with lots in the past um and probably more successes than failures usually like a failure on a lot is more or less like a break even and then you just have books that that are hard to, to get rid of um but um sometimes you'll see a diamond in the rough so i bought this it's from a seller that i don't think regularly sells comics they just had a pile of comics around and decided to sell as a lot which is not unusual um i'll sometimes do that with items I get as part of collections that are not comic books. Uh, just throw it up there as a lot and see what you get for it. Uh, just to to move it. You're not really, um, you know, got the expertise in it or necessarily the, the uh, audience of people who are interested in it. Like I had a lot of uh, Mad Magazine uh, paperback books. And I just threw it on eBay and whoever bought it uh, got it for a pretty good price, I think. But um, I made a little bit of money and I moved some stuff out of my house. So, okay, it is, it is uh, somewhat well protected. Uh, I think there's cardboard around here. So I paid, like, I think it's 70, just kind of random packing materials in here. It's just whatever they had on hand. Um, okay, so I spent, I think it's $71.69 on the lot. And it was 35 books. Some of the books are nothing to write home about, but... There was something in there that caught my eye, and um, I'm going to save the book that I was most interested in for last. Now, again, since they were showing pictures of multiple books at a time, it's really impossible to accurately judge the condition, um, which, you know, could make a big difference. So, let's see if I can break this open, and we'll take a look at the books inside, of course, which I expected. Um, not really bags and boards. So uh, we got to kind of cross our fingers all wrapped up between a couple of backer boards and a, inside a supermarket bag. And ooh, yeah, there's some, ooh, okay. So this is what the lot looks like. So I'm a little less optimistic than I was when I bought it off of eBay because there's one particular book that if it's in high grade is a huge score, but I, I doubted. It was just, you know, the, the chance that it could be in very high grade. Um, so oh, I didn't realize this. This is Ghost Rider, Wolverine Punisher, Hearts of Darkness, trade paperback. This is a mess. This is low grade. Yeah, these are low grade. Ooh. See, uh, yeah, it was hard to tell. And I bought it for this. Um, this is, yeah, covers coming off. <laughs> Steel DC Universe logo. That's kind of what I focused on, I'm guessing. I'm going to hold that one till last. That actually does not have the cover coming off. A Conan. Just a... This is all dollar bit. Another Conan. It's a newsstand, but these are all beat to heck. This one's not bad. Um, this is. It's got some issues with it, but uh, another DC Universe logo. Wonder Woman 88. This Brian Boland cover, Superman Wonder Woman. That's not bad. This is another Wonder Woman Boland cover. It's not a DC Universe logo. and That's mid-grade. This one, 
mid-grade also. It's not the original. Star Wars Dark Empire, part of the Dark Horse Classics. It does have a little bit of value. Uh, just a random Morbius issue. Um, this, another DC Universe logo. Again, issues with it. Looney Tunes number four. A coverless, uh, I think this is a Conan. No, Warlord, I'm sorry. I shouldn't notice from the Superman ad in the back. Uh, a coverless Warlord. Uh, coverless Ghost Rider 71. Should have gotten the indication when the stuff was coverless. Uh, Mid-ish grade. Has some boxings of tearing up. Eternals 15. I don't remember if that was an Eternals key. Inside image number 10. Kind of a flip book. I doubt that has any value. Um, the Spectacular Prodigy number one. That's an interesting book. I doubt that. I don't. Th that doesn't. It's it's late '90s Marvel. It is. Uh, it is. It is in a bag and board, but it's like you can see like the staple tears there. That is not high grade. So another one. Uh, Wolverine onslaught era cover detached. Um, another Wolverine '87. Wait. Wow, oh, they had. 87, but no 88. Uh, Ventures of Superman, lower grade, 513. Um, newsstand Superman 103, that's okay. This one's rough. This is one of the DC Universe logos, Action 701. And this one is, eh, it's got creasing on the cover. Adventures of Superman 514, DC Universe logo. This one's not in bad shape. It does have some issues with it. Higher end to mid grade. Superman, Man of Steel, DC, DC Universe logo. This one's rough. It's the West Coast Avengers. That's a, a mess. Uh, American Honda presents Supergirl. Never seen that before. Might just keep that for giggles. Uh, Superboy Seven with static. The, the newsstand. Um, Superboy 6, DC Universe logo. And with the DC Universe logos, those came in multi-packs, so usually if you usually see them in, in uh, groups. Um, fourth print, rough shape of Superman 75. Uh, no, that's not bad. Got a little bit of some issues, a crease on the cover. But it's Green Lantern 53, DC Universe logo. Um... Superman 91, DC Universe logo. The best bet to get the DC Universe logos is to get them. Uh, they're still in the packs. Power Man, Iron Fist, lower grade there. Uh, West Coast Avengers 97. That's okay. Shape this one. Gambit 15. Gambit 16. What If 100. Spider-Man 72. This is one of the two in a bag and board. But the reason I bought the lot, and this is actually in better shape, it's not a 9.8. But it is solid. Yeah. The reason I bought the entire lot, and I was kind of taking the gamble for higher grade, I got higher end to mid grade, I guess is Flash 92, the first appearance of Impulse in a DC Universe logo. Okay. So, this this is not a bad book. Um, the condition is, is okay. Mid-grade. Maybe like a 7, 5, 8. Okay. But it is a key. First Impulse in his DC Universe logo. Would have loved to have that in a <laughs> like, you know, a 9 8 contender because it'd be worth probably a couple hundred bucks. But you kind of take your chances with the lots. There's there's some books there that are a mess, um, that, that are really worthless. Um, and uh, I'll, a number of DC Universe logos. So I'll take the ones that are still in decent shape and, and see if we can uh, sell those. So 
that was just kind of a fun uh, thing. You can always, you know, you pick up a lot. It's it's a little bit of a gamble. How do you think I did on this? Seventy one dollars in. I think, I think I should be able to to come close to breaking even, but I don't think I'm making a big profit. So, anyway, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, you can take a look at a couple of my other videos here. And this is Jim saying until next time, enjoy your comics.